Dave Bikas. I'm a building contractor in Central New Jersey. I've had my own business since 1984. My experience is from the simple to the complex, from adjusting an ill-fitting door to building new neighborhoods, from planting a few plants to installing all the underground utilities and major site work. I'm a licensed New Jersey building inspector and testified as an expert witness in Superior Court. We all love TV, and my wife particularly loves HGTV. A popular HGTV show is Homes on Homes. This guy finds all kinds of problems in construction, then fixes them. Wow, you feel how shaky this is? Oh my god! Oh, this is really flimsy, but it's not going to fall down. We still have the collar ties. And I've been doing that for over 20 years, and my wife doesn't watch. Starting today, I still won't be on TV, but I will be on the internet, and we'll see if my wife will give up on HGTV for me. Today's four-minute video episode is a partial roof collapse caused by poor framing over 20 years ago. But before we talk about bad construction, let's talk about video production. I know I know more than Holmes about Holmes, but he's going to have it all over me with video production quality. I have this camera and I have that camera, but there's no film crew, no post-production team, no lighting crew, producers, or any of the tens of people it takes to make a slick video production. My production budget is zero. What we are dealing with today is a partial roof collapse on a commercial building in central New Jersey. A new roof was put on about two years ago and the bad condition must have been evident then, but nobody said anything. So we unfortunately are going to take a perfectly good roof off and do it again. The engineer looked at it and provided plans on a fix. The plans were mostly right. I often think architects and engineers should work for a frame or a site improvement company for at least one summer before they get degrees. It would save a lot of paper. This spot is where the framing came through the roof and created a leak. We can see some of the previous attempts at patching the roof. Just take a look here at these rafters. Hardly anything holding them up and barely scabbed together in the middle. Honestly, it's a surprise this thing didn't completely fall down. The roof had a 6 inch depression in the middle, so we knew something was out of whack with the framing. What we found was right out of homes on homes, except of course, this is an office building. What you see here is what's holding up the roof. Well. We're here and we're going to make it right. There were two sections with the, seat with the same issues. We took the roofing, then the plywood off, and sent it all to the dump. We brought in new full-length rafters, new plywood, and built a substantial support system under the rafters. Pulled a chalk line across the whole roof to get each rafter at the right height. Plywood clips in every bay and plenty of nails make for a strong roof. Valley's got a waterproof membrane and then 
tar paper. Everything is ready for the new roof, and then that gets installed.